Hello students, welcome to Saraksar's classes. In this video, I will be discussing industrial statistics with you and I will be covering various topics of industrial statistics. For more videos on this particular topic of industrial statistics, you can keep checking out videos. You will be provided more of the videos in our next sessions. So, let's start with industrial statistics. Industrial statistics. To understand it to the core, you first have to know what is the introduction of industrial statistics. So, let me tell you about the introduction of industrial statistics. Industrial statistics is concerned with maintaining and improving the quality of goods and services. So, we can say that to maintain the quality and good and services, to maintain the quality of goods and services we use industrial statistics industrial statistics yes it is obvious because look the name itself has the industrial statistics so it is pretty obvious that this kind of statistics is mainly used in industrial purpose and of course in the industrial purpose it will be used to maintain the quality of goods that is the goods you are buying what is the quality of them and how is the service of the goods that you are buying. Also, it involves a broad range of statistical tools, but maintaining and improving quality involves an overall approach to the management of industrial process that transcends the use of the specific tools. So, uh, let me simplify it for you. Like, it involves a broad range of statistical tools. Of course, when you, when you study to the core, when we study to the core, we need to know about, we need to know about the various statistical tools, various st statistical tool that industrial statistics uses. Maintaining and improving quality of goods. Maintaining, maintaining and improving the quality of goods is a basic focus of this industrial statistics. So, we can say that industrial statistics that industrial statistics is mainly focusing or uh, in, in making it a point of importance that the goods we are buying are needed to be qu quality product and it also needs to be increasing the quality of the product so industrial statistics mainly uses those tools by which we can determine how to improve the quality of goods and how to maintain the quality that we are buying for a long time. Now, there are uh, many industrial processes in, in doing so. We will be knowing about those. Now, industrial statistics is a branch of economic statistics that deals with the production of activity of industry, one of the leading sector of the national economy. So, you see industrial statistics industrial statistics we can call it a subset of economical statistics economical statistics in this economical statistics we can say that uh, this mainly deals with this mainly deals with the activity of industry, the activity of industry. Like I told you before that in an industry, it's a very important thing to maintain the quality of goods and also uh, to uh, check how the product is and 
industrial statistics basically focuses on that part and it is a leading sector of national economy it is a leading sector of national economy national economy now as you all know that variability is inherent in all processes variability is inherent in all processes and in this industrial statistics we need this because uh, as a uh, variability is a very important part of like manufacturing processes or service processes so this variability can be controlled let me add a page this variability is needed to be controlled to either increase the quality of goods increase the quality of goods or it is also important to be controlled in order to produce high quality goods produce high quality goods now what industrial statistics mainly focuses on is on the use of statistical thinking use of statistical thinking thinking that is you can also take this as the application or appreciation of the inherent variability of the processes it also focuses on like developing skill for designing developing skill for designing experiments all as well as experiment modeling data modeling data now we need to focus on the developing skill for modeling data and designing experiments that can lead to improvements in the performance and of course reductions in variability because when you are working in an industry or when you are thinking about uh, improving an industry you of course need the developing skill for modeling modeling data and also the designing experiments are needed to be improved so let's see how we will start the developing skills and the various methods of it so statistical quality control statistical quality control is a use of industrial statistics is a very important use is a use of industrial statistics and it is very important now sqc has mainly two major areas what are those those are acceptance sampling acceptance sampling this is also known as product control there is another component of it that is process control or control charts process control or control charts both of these statistical techniques may be applied to two kinds of data now let's see what are those data these processes are applied to two kinds of data what are those those are attribute data attribute data another is variable data now of course you are thinking what are attribute data and variable data now let me tell you about the attribute data and variable data as you know science 
has like two types of informations one is what we call fact and the other is what we call measurement in case of facts we can state a thing or we can state a uh, opinion about something depending on our investigation or depending on our research about it but in case of facts in case of a measurement we need to take a measurement and then we can state that the amount of the thing we are measuring or what exactly the percentage is in case we are measuring a percentage let me give an example for example suppose in a college there are many students who are wearing blue shirt there are students who are wearing blue shirts students wearing blue shirt so from this you can conclude that blue is a popular color among teens now this is a fact because we are actually stating it depending on our investigation but when we say 65% of college students wear blue shirt then you can actually see the measurement of it and this is basically the difference between uh, facts and measurement in facts we state an opinion about something but in measurement we have to give the mathematical measurement of it now let me tell more about attribute data and variable data so attrib why i told you about this fact and measurement part will be clear in this attribute and variable data structure attribute data are those kind of data which are actually taken in presence or absence of the good and we are stating a fact about it in its absence or presence that is when we investigate investigate we reach a conclusion about our investigation product investigation product and we can state that conclusion either in presence or absence of it this kind of data are attribute data this is why i told you about facts in this case we depends on our experiment and then we conclude this conclusion is like a fact so uh, let us give an example like conforming or non -con non conforming pass or fail now i will tell you about variable data variable data are like measurements while stating this data we actually state some kind of measurement that is when characteristics of a product is measured and then stated measured and then stated with a value on a con with a value on a continuous scale on a continuous scale then this type of data
are variable data. Examples will always be like length, height, weight, etc. Well, thank you for watching the video. Hope this helped you solving your queries about economical statistics as well as industrial statistics. This will help you in many entrance examination and to solve your uh, problems there. Also, it can brush up your concepts about industrial statistics as well as economical statistics. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, you can keep checking our channel and stay tuned.